Zach Morris is trash. Zach Morris has to turn in a science project to avoid summer school, so he's making Screech do all of it. He castigates him for seeking fresh air when he should be slaving at home. Why aren't you gonna do any work at all, Zach? Oh no. Zach promises his work would only ruin it, the Zach Morris guarantee. Screech, deep into Stockholm Syndrome, thanks his lazy captor. Screech professes his love for Lisa. Kelly says go for it. Instead of encouraging him to follow his heart, Zach says he needs to put that passion into their project. Screech, not yet fully broken by Zach goes to Lisa's arms. Unfortunately, her arms are taken. Zack says he understands why Screech has lady trouble, sending him home head hung. Zack does not cheer him up, and instead orders him back to work, then impatiently fiddles and blows the fucking thing up. Zack says what Screech needs is one of his nonsensical sexist pickup lines. How much did the other contestants pay to drop out of Miss Universe contest? Screech questions him and gets assaulted. Screech attempts Zack's pushy gimmicks, but Zack's horny gibberish shockingly fails and pushes him to hide from the world once more. Screech wants someone to accept him for who he is. Impossible, as Zack keeps telling him to be someone else. Zack knows the perfect girl for Screech. Go work on that project. He'll grab her. Zack plays on Jesse's sympathies, saying he has a single friend being discriminated against she'd be perfect for. When he says it's Screech, Jesse isn't interested because she's known him for years and he isn't her type. You fucking idiot. Screech wants to meet this mystery lady. Zack gets a great idea. She'll call Screech at that payphone later. Now go work on that project. Screech is nervous. Slater tells him to just be himself. A refreshingly human reprieve from Zack's horrendous guidance. Screech answers the call. She likes him. Her name? Bambi. Zack is impersonating a woman with a stripper name in a room where men shit loudly to carelessly lead Screech on. How romantic. Zack is sleepy after staying up late as Bambi on the phone with Screech, keeping both of them from working. Screech, who has never received female attention before, is in love, but understandably wants to meet this person. Zack, who thought none of this through, says it can't happen because Bambi's having an identity crisis. A lie equal part vague and distressing. Zack says Screech will be over Bambi in no time. Think again, you blonde bozo. Screech chained himself to a locker and refuses to eat until he meets Bambi. Zack doesn't care. Or do any science projects. Zack suddenly cares. Now Screech is missing class to get lessons on loss he does not need as he is pining over nobody. Belding demands Zack introduces Screech to Bambi, which surely cannot be as difficult as Zack purports. Zack only agrees to avoid detention. Zack pulls Jesse and Lisa from their studies to facilitate his Bambi transformation. He uses this moment to drop some transphobic slurs. Well, this is repulsive, disgusting, <laughs> revolting. Then vainly requests something a little more flattering. Flattering, not accomplished. Zack, I mean Bambi, lurches in. Screech, a gentleman, lies and says she's beautiful. Bambi gets immediately violent and rude. Would you like to meet some of my friends? No. Zack opportunistically hits Slater, knowing he won't fight back. Slater knows what's going on, but won't crush Screech the way Zack is heedlessly doing in slow motion. Screech introduces Kelly to Bambi. Bambi coincidentally knows as little about talking to women as Zack. Screech wants to kiss Bambi and share their love with the world. Bambi says if they kiss, they're official. Screech, not scared of commitment like Zack's pathetic ass, is ready. Bambi breaks out a list of controlling rules to scare Screech. First, look more like Zack. Straighten your hair and dye it blonde. No problem. He'd be the second dumbest guy at school with that look. Bambi is allergic to animals. Knowing Screech has many he loves Loves, but Screech offers to shave all of them to prioritize her. Bambi's final rule. I'm very possessive. I must have you all to myself. Now get rid of your friend Zack Morris. Screech says Zack is rude and takes advantage and sucks dirty ass in thunderstorms. But Screech is loyal and would never sacrifice a friend the way Zack does ten times before breakfast. Bambi sobs, making Screech feel guilty. Screech handles it as best he can and tries to point out the positive lessons of this experience. When in fact, he's just been primed for a lifetime of abusive relationships. Bambi reminds him to finish that science project. Then Zack attempts to use his disguise to hear Kelly urinate. I'm going to the girls' room. You want to come? Oh, why not? Sounds like fun. Freeze! Let's review. Zach Morris put his science project on Screech's shoulders, ignoring his need for daylight and human contact, instead of boosting his confidence, put him down and gave him sleazy pickup lines that lowered his self-esteem, and ruined the work Screech had done just for funsies, then tried to manipulate an uninterested friend into a pity date, then just made up a woman who was wild about Screech, but refused to ever meet him when 
when that drove Screech crazy, Zack would have let him starve to death if it wasn't for the science project. Then Zack dressed up as the woman he invented to abuse and emotionally batter Screech in public until he was forced to end things, conditioning him to believe this is what love should be like if he's ever so lucky to find it again, and did all of this while doing none of their projects. Zach Morris is trash. Zach Morris is trash.